And tonight there is an investigation going on after U.S. Marshals shot and killed a suspect as they were trying to arrest him. This happened in Lorraine and authorities say one officer opened fire after the suspect attacked them. Linda Lai has been working on this story this afternoon. She joins us now outside U.S. Marshals Cleveland headquarters in downtown live for us. And I know it's been a very fluid situation. You were getting new information just a little while ago. What do we know? Yeah, Christy, well, information that we learned in the last hour, there were, in fact, three U.S. deputy marshals who were injured in the confrontation. Two, seriously, both are expected to be okay, though. But the marshals and officers from the Violent Fugitive Task Force were executing a federal arrest warrant when they say a suspect came at them swinging what appeared to be, at first, a baseball bat. Authorities say 34-year-old Derek Smith was wanted for violating federal parole stemming from a drug trafficking case. This morning, as five officers with the task force approached the suspect's home on West 21st Street in Lorraine, marshals say that Smith charged out of the home swinging what would later turn out to be a wooden table leg. Officers first deployed tasers, but that did not stop him. Two officers were hit in the head and torso, and one officer fired, killing Smith. We say every single day, we start our day hoping that we're successful and everybody goes home safe. Um, but nonetheless, you have to be prepared for the worst. And in this case, uh, the worst was coming at us at, at a fierce uh, rate, and our, our folks had to do what they're trained to do. Now, keep in mind, Marshall's use of deadly force is not very common. Chief Deputy Fitzgibbons says that in his 17 years with the office here in Cleveland, he can only recall a couple of incidents and neither were fatal. But now we have this deadly incident now under investigation. There was officer body worn video uh, cameras, but that video has not been released yet. Now, all three deputy marshals have been released from the hospital late this afternoon again to Two of them took blows to the head, so they had some serious injuries, but they are expected to be okay. The third had stitches in his arm. All Christy, right. back to you. Lena, we appreciate the update. Uh, good information to get us, and we'll keep watching to see what happens from this point on. Thank you.